Hi, loves. How is everybody? I just thought I'd jump on um, on this lovely 888 day. Um, it's been a while since I have done anything or uh, been present on YouTube. So I just felt the call, um, firstly, because I just wanted to share something about a client as I'm about to jump on a, uh, or should I say into, I'm about to jump into um, the Akashic record of a client on this amazing numerical alignment day. And I know there, there's some of you out there who resonate with numerology and these um, synchronistic portals, uh, which today is beautiful being uh, the eighth of the eighth in the year eight. <laughs> so it's, uh, yeah, we're, we're kind of within, we're, we're in a universal year eight. Um, so I felt it's really uh, quite an auspicious day um, just because we're in the year eight, within the eighth month, within the eighth day of the eighth month. And yeah, for me, it's really feeling really vibrant already. I felt it since I woke up this morning, really alert and just, yeah, I just could feel the energies after having the last couple of days um, struggling, struggling a little bit with the uh, soul flares, which I think... Um, Quite a few of you may have felt um, the energies. It's been really intense. And we've had, obviously, Pluto in retrograde and Mercury's just gone retrograde. <laughs> and obviously the new moon and all of these planetary influences. So it's been an intense kind of felt felt really the intensity since Sunday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. And I started to come out of it yesterday. And then I woke up this morning feeling like really that really empowered, vibrant energy of the um of, of the eighth, you know, that the eight, which is all about power, authority, strength. Um, so, yeah, and then my client um, that I'm doing a reading for, she actually sent me a message earlier and she said to me, have you been doing any clearing already in my Akashic Record? Because I'm feeling shifts already. And so it's really interesting how quite a few clients say to me when I'm doing these Akashic readings before I've even started the reading, um that you know quite a few clients over the years have messaged me and asked me if I've already been doing uh, clearing work which I um which I haven't ha at that time so I find it quite interesting and and really um yeah it's profound that people can really feel these um these shifts the minute they set that intention to go really deeper into their psyche and into their shadow body to to identify all these blocks um that that intention alone is begins the movement it begins this progressive releasing so yeah i just wanted to share that because i found it really powerful that today as well that i'm actually you know it's um, i never even thought about the actual day um that I'd agreed to do this reading for this client it was only yesterday like I realized wow it's actually um the 8-8 portal which is a so aligned for her as well it literally I was meant to do the reading last week um but one thing and another I, I never got around to doing it so it literally fell that I told her on Tuesday that I'm gonna be doing the reading on Thursday and then she messaged me and said did you realize what date was and I said no um, because I've been so busy I just forgot but yeah it was really amazing and she said to me I'm really feeling the shifts already so yeah really powerful but I wanted to just share with you um, about you know I've kind of fallen out of alignment a little bit with um, with Lionsgate I usually do uh, some kind of workshop or a webinar uh, higher light healing but I just haven't done it I didn't do one last year and I haven't felt inclined to do it this year because I've kind of fallen out of love with the whole concept of lion's gate but i really love the numerical um synchronicities i'm very much uh in alignment with these and you know working with the vibration of numerology in which to you know create manifest and set intentions and so today i really felt to do what happened on any portal work any numerical numerical portal work this year so far um, but I really felt to do today just to have a little just to jump on and uh, because I really want to uh, read to you recite to you my divine love embodiment uh, declaration that you may um, um, appreciate 
So um, that's why I'm here today uh, for this, really, just to help, you know, anybody, whether you're in alignment with Lionsgate, whether you're in alignment with the portals, whether you're not in alignment with this. I know there's a lot of controversy about the Gregorian calendar and the, the portals, the numerical portals are all misaligned and distorted because of all these shifts and changes within the calendar and the moon and all of this kind of thing. So wherever you are on that, I I always believe that it doesn't matter what day, what time, the portals, anything, it ultimately it's about how our own intention and what we're actually creating um in our own reality and if people use these auspicious portals these numerical portals to do that because it means something to them it's like they create a more of a space to do a a little uh, internal ceremony then that's great you know ultimately it's all about the intention however it's also um good to be aware that while we are doing these you know there's a lot of people around the world that will be gathering at all these beautiful uh, sites, sacred sites like Glastonbury and Avebury and um, in the UK and then all these other, the other sites around the world, ancient temples and things like this, people doing rituals and this ceremony, that ceremony. It's good to be aware that although there's many people out there doing good work and anchoring um, you know, light into the grids, in the planetary grids, there are also the, the frequency fences, the controllers out there who are also using these for their own nefarious agendas to, you know, to harvest energy. So be aware of that, that there may well be some and some harvesting. So it's really good to put your shield up, do a nice little protection um, with your shield. Um, and again, just, you know, anchoring in the, you know, this, the, the higher light love vibration, because ultimately this has the power to repel anything that, you know, any intrusions that are sent our way. So if anybody would like the written version of this declaration that I'm about to read, please drop me a, um, an email or contact me via my website and I'll send that to you. um yeah you'll you will you can find my web my website link underneath um the information of my channel it's, it's literally just my name miarena.com um and if you reach out to me if you hop onto you'll see the con contact mia just hop onto that page and you can send me a my whatsapp's there my email's there um if anybody that follows me on facebook um you can also uh, drop me a message there and i'll send the pdf um, version of this um, divine love embodiment declaration out to you as I said it's quite a powerful uh, declaration and I sent it out to my uh, community already a couple of days ago um, with a little recommendation of a of a plasma bath meditation to do um, just to uh, obviously be begin the process of clearing and also to activate the shield uh, and also, you know, sort of kind of making that declaration command. We're literally sealing this vibration into our fields. Um, and so it's already kind of helping to, um, yeah, just to seal our fields and, and hopefully repel, um, yeah, any intrusions. So anyway, on without further ado, <laughs> I will begin uh, the um, declaration reading. So you can just close your eyes if you wish and just feel into the frequency. I don't invoke any um, beings or anything like this. We're literally just working with our own energy, just making our own commands. So just take a moment to close down your eyes or lower your gaze if you don't feel like closing your eyes. Just take a few nice deep breaths. Just feel your breathing rate slow down as you take deep long slow inhalations and exhalations dropping your focus and awareness down from the mind into the heart setting an intention to allow yourself to be present And again, take a moment to tap into the vibration of eight, which is 
the vibration of power, authority, courage, and manifestation. It's a vibration of alchemy. So just setting an intention for releasing anything that is ready to be released and setting an intention to invite in anything that you desire, anything that is in alignment with your highest path and purpose. Coming up on the around the 12th to the 15th of August, we also have the annual um, planetary magnetic Merkaba peak, which is, um, as I say, it's an annual, uh, another celestial event. Some people will be aware of it, some not. We have the annual electrical magnetic peak around the spring equinox, and then we have the magnetic um, peak around um, the August um, period, the, the kind of midpoint of, of the year. And it's basically, you know, the, the magnetic peak, which is the female current, which is a very calming water energy within our electromagnetic body, the electrical being the electric male current and magnetic being the female current. So just taking a moment to just feel the vibration of that magnetic, which is a slower vibration and nurturing, calming vibration. Because a lot of people, especially around the spring, you know, was coming into spring and people are really high vibe. Um, I always think it's a result of um, the electrical peak of the magnetic planetary Merkaba field. And, you know, the, the electrical, the electric is the, the very much the male doing, um, whereas the female is more being. So just take a moment to just tune into that being, calming energy, this feminine energy. Whether you're male or female, you know, we, we have this electromagnetic energy running through our body. It's part of our DNA, part of our blueprint. And as you feel yourself breathing and relaxing, just imagine a beautiful shield around you, a beautiful golden shield all around you. And this shield from the from the sun sending plasma codes around you, around your own personal electromagnetic or toroidal field. And just invite these higher light plasma codes into your body, allowing these to activate and upgrade your DNA template. So you can really feel the vibration of these plasma codes as you invite them into your body. And just see this beautiful toroidal shield all around you, setting an intention to protect you from any intrusions and interferences, blocking any um, potential for soul harvesting that the frequency fences um, attempt to use these portals sending out there psychotronic um, radio waves to interfere with our with our own frequency. So just breathing in these beautiful golden plasma coats. And then just reciting in your mind or out loud, however you prefer. So I, stating your full name, allow myself to align to the divine definition of radiant love. As I align to divine radiance, I lead from the truth of my higher heart. As I lead from my higher heart, I create a coherence within my Trinity body, mind, body, and soul. I allow my humanness to integrate and embody the inherent higher aspects and layers of my soul and my oversoul, that I may activate all higher potential timeline probabilities that are available to me 
in alignment with my true soul path and purpose. I allow myself to universally align with the truest definition of love, of gratitude, of kindness, of health and vitality, of wealth and abundance. I allow my highest inner sovereign self to guide me home, standing in my truth, my power, at one with the unified field, with God's source and universal natural laws, so I may fulfill my soul work. I command all lower aspects not belonging to me Aspects of myself that interfere or prevent me from embodying any of the above aforementioned. I command all are released and returned to the true eternal light of God source now. So that I may universally transform, align and embody all higher aspects of my true unified self. I release the past and the old version of me that felt safe holding on to the past so I may allow the true me to fully embrace and embody my truest and highest creator potential. I release all unwanted and uninvited energies and intrusions that I may be falsely holding as my own within any aspect of my being or layers, levels or corners above, below, in and around and beyond. I release all intrusions from anyone or anything, from anywhere and everywhere, across all time and space throughout all dimensions, planes, and levels of consciousness. As I release the old and unserving, I allow my whole multidimensional self to receive 100% pure divine love and potential from the one true creator source consciousness. As I receive, so I may give, I align to the divine definition of radiant love. I, your full name, align to the divine definition of radiant love. As I move forward with ease and grace, I allow my highest wisdom intelligence to guide me in all ways, always. I am creator, I am manifester, I am lovingly held, safe and protected, always, in all ways. As I speak, so this declaration is commanded into universal existence and created now. Just breathe in the power of the language you've just used, it works on linguistic template reprogramming. The energy of the commands, the language that we're using is basically ingrained into our subconscious. So our higher, our superconscious, which is our subconscious, can begin to align all of these frequencies within our multidimensional bodies. just feel the power of that vibration feel the power of the plasma codes around you just feel the power and the courage and the strength of this 888 portal and utilize the gift of this day to manifest all that you wish to manifest all that you desire and again just focusing on the positive positive aspects without bypassing and you know, if you find yourself experiencing any negative thoughts, perceptions, beliefs, just ask yourself, 
is this true? Is this my truth? And is it universal truth? Because what may be true for you right now in the moment is a particular negative belief. But when we can ask, is it universal truth? Quite often we can tap into the illusion of these beliefs. And quite often they, they're not ours. They're just beliefs that we've inherited through the collective, inherited in childhood. but it allows you the gift of letting go and releasing it. Like, I don't need this belief. I don't need this perception. I don't need this in my life, you know, in order to anchor in the higher timeline probabilities, you really have to embody the vibration of who we are at soul level, you know, what our desires are and making the desires our reality. So this is a really beautiful day to just, you know, take a moment to sit with yourself and allow all of this in. And as I said, anybody who wishes to receive the uh, PDF version of this decree, yeah, please contact me um, via my website. And as I said, any any which way, whether you want to contact me via email or WhatsApp or Facebook, or Instagram even, you can find all my details um, within the information of the channel. And yeah, just reach out and send and I'll send that over to you as soon as possible. And you can recite it, you, you know, using it daily for the next days until you really embody the vibration of love. Because we're all experiencing different life blocks, you know, blocks to healing, blocks to moving forward, blocks to letting go, blocks to receiving love, blocks to giving love, um, blocks to acceptance, you know, blocks to forgiveness, blocks to integrity, blocks to truth. And resistances and denial, you know, all of the the um, the wounds that we're upholding, you know, that can create all these life blocks, soul blocks. So, yeah, if you want to, the, this embodiment, this divine love embodiment will help you to really uh, release some of these because ultimately everything comes down to, yeah, self-love and acceptance. And I know it's cliche, but it really is true. You know, it's it's not new age uh, cheese it really is you know we can only um, love unconditionally when we love ourselves unconditionally when we forgive ourselves and move forward and stop punishing ourselves we stop sabotaging um, our soul work we stop sabotaging you know the things we want to manifest into our reality and ultimately when we're sabotaging it's because there's an aspect of not feeling safe you know we want to invite more wealth or abundance into our life but quite often the thought of having wealth and abundance contracts the body it makes us feel not safe so when we can really embody you know this love vibration it, it it really does have the capacity to to shift and transmute all lower energy vibrations so yeah again as cliche and cheesy as it is um yeah i really felt inspired uh, to share this um, with you today so yeah, I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day wherever you are in the world. Please feel free to share this with anybody you would like to share with or needs to hear it. And of course, when I send out the PDF to you, for those who want it, um, you feel free to share it with anybody. Um, and anybody who wants to work with me personally, again, to receive an Akashic reading and clearing or or working to learn how to do Akashic readings on my next facilitator training, which starts in September, September the 14th and 15th. It's a four month program, but we do four sessions over the monthly sessions. So once a month and allowing time for integration. It's a really powerful training program. And we go through all sorts of releasings and clearings and activations on soul level, monadic level, on a physical level, releasing past life, other lifetimes, timelines. Yeah, we go through a lot of a lot of clearings and uh, and obviously learning how to do this for others and read the records accurately, you know, bypassing all these holographs and holograms and all these entities that we're dealing with, clearing implants. Um, yeah, there's a lot. We go into it a lot. So again, you can find all that information on my website as well. And um, yeah, please reach out um, if you want to have a free chat with me, a free discovery call, just reach out and we can arrange that, see how I may better help you 
or what may be suitable for you out of all the programs on my on my website. And please, if you enjoy this and appreciate this video, drop me a little like, subscribe to my channel, it really helps me. Um, and as I said, share, 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 share the love, share the divine love. <laughs> Have a beautiful rest of your day and sending lots of love to you all. Lots of plasma energy, upgrading, activating. Yeah, really, really embody the frequencies of today if the sun's not shining on you right now wherever you are in the world just part the clouds because the sun is up there shining so just visualize that beautiful ball of spectrum wave frequency um, sending out those those plasma energies into your body and just breathing it into all cells of your body and uh, yeah really feel yourself um, shift in vibration all right have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye.